It's only community spirit powering Cramlington this weekend as soldiers check in on those waiting it out in their own homes. For others, this week has been an endless move from one hotel to another. So I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old and I also have my father who lives with me um, who's not in the best of health. Uh, in the hotels, it's been me, the two-year-old and the four-year-old in a double bed and then my dad in a single bed and obviously we're all in one room together. In the North Pennines, there was finally some light at the end of the tunnel. Julia is warm again thanks to a generator down the street. It was like getting into cold water going to bed. <laughs> it was cold. If you went out of the room with fire, it was freezing. But her son-in-law shares other residents' frustrations about how the emergency's been handled. Somebody needs to be here on the ground sooner to see the devastation at some of these poles down and know that they couldn't get power on. The power's back on in this corner of County Durham, but the problem isn't over. This generator is providing a quick fix, giving local residents heating, hot water and electricity once again. But at some point, there'll have to be a switch over when the power lines are back up and running. And when that will happen isn't clear yet. Today, Northern Power Grid apologised for the delay in dealing with the outage, but admitted it would be Wednesday before everyone has electricity again. Hello. Back in Northumberland, though, big life moments won't wait. Well, you can't knock the um, British and English people back. Well, we've got lots of candles. I think it'll be very romantic. While celebrations are in full swing for this happy couple, thousands of families face another Saturday night in darkness. Ellie Pitt, ITV News, County Durham.